Hello friends, welcome to today's vlog. So, unfortunately, the beginning footage of this vlog got erased. I'm not really sure what happened, but it's gone and I can't locate it anywhere. So I've decided to just film a new intro. So hi, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Abby. I make videos all about being a new grad nurse and just kind of documenting and vlogging my day-to-day -day life. So hello, hi, um, I will put my Instagram name right here. If you wanna go give me a follow there, you're welcome to. So this vlog was the start of night shift for me. I had never done a night shift ever in my life, not in clinical, not in school not as a nurse, never done night shift. So I decided to vlog my very first night shift and that's what you're gonna see. I did vlog myself the night before this shift started and the night before I tried to stay up as late as I possibly could just to try and sleep through the day. I ended up staying up until about 2 a.m. and then went to sleep and I only slept until 11. So I kind of screwed myself, I really didn't, I think I got less sleep because by staying up so late, I kind of wish I would have gone to bed earlier, but that's beside the point. So the vlog is just going to start from here from basically the time that I got up the day of my first night shift on forward. And that's what you're going to see. So luckily not too much got deleted. I'm going to stop rambling and let's get into the footage. Hi guys. So it is now 1145 and I just got done with quite a few things, I had some more wedding photos to edit, so I edit and sent off a wedding gallery to the bride. So that's done, which feels so good to have that done. And then I um, had to call and chat with the finance guy at my work to go over like benefits and insurance and all of that fun stuff. So I chatted with him for a while, and now I'm just watching some YouTube videos and actually editing a vlog. So. I'm debating if I should try and take a nap. I just don't really know if that's going to be possible um, before I go into work tonight. I still have quite a while. I don't know. I might try and take a nap, but I might just power through. We might just be awake for 24 hours today. I don't know. I'm going to see. But right now I'm going to go and grab the mail because I think I have a couple packages. So I'm going to go grab that and come back and we'll see what I got. Okay, so we have one package and I think it's some thermoses or one thermos oh that's so cute so if you guys don't know the water bottle that I drink out of literally every day is from the brand simple modern and so this is that same brand him and I were just talking about how like different things I could take to work to eat for like lunch and dinner and snacks and stuff and we were talking about how soup might be nice to have something warm especially on nights i've heard it get i've heard that it gets pretty cold so i'm bringing this and connor like was like well if you want some soups i can order you some thermoses so he ordered me a few i want to say like two so this is one of them papers and things in here but i really love simple modern um i've been using their water bottle from that i got from target for Oh my gosh, probably like a year and a half now at least. And I really love it. It's lasted forever and it's way cheaper than like some of the other brands, but it's, it's been just as sturdy for me. So I'm excited about this. The color is so pretty. I just love that. Okay. Thanks, Connor. I got to text him and let him know that I got it. So it is now, I feel like my face looks so puffy. Um, it's now about 2.30. I ended up coming upstairs and deciding to lay down just because I could feel myself getting tired. Sorry, I'm like so waking back up. And I felt like I could do a nap and it wouldn't make me too groggy. Now sometimes, typically naps make me really groggy. Typically I can't nap. Um, but I feel like because I was up till 2 a.m. and I only slept till eight, which that's still six hours, but it just still felt like it wasn't enough that I decided to take a nap. So I laid down at about one and I slept for another hour. So from like one to two, off and on, it took me a while to fall asleep. Um, I slept and I am feeling a bit better. So I just remade my bed. Little girl is napping over there on her bed. She's awake now too. Um, I'm just trying to think of what steps I should take next because I don't need to leave for work until 6.30 tonight and it's two o'clock. So I have like four and a half hours. So I think I'm gonna go downstairs and pack my lunch and then try and figure out something for dinner because I do wanna try and eat like a bigger meal before I go to work. Okay, sorry if you can hear Daisy eating. She's being very loud. We just got back from a pretty long walk, a couple miles. I'm hoping that that helped wear her out because this is gonna be her first night alone in our house and I never leave her alone to sleep by herself. So I think it's gonna be really weird for her. 
um so i'm hoping that that wears her out and that she sleeps well while i'm gone it's about 5 p.m i need to leave by 6 30 so i have about an hour and a half i'm gonna pack my lunch i'm gonna shower and get ready and i think i might if i have time run through chick-fil-a and get some dinner there because Everyone's telling me that I need to eat a large meal before I go to work and I really don't feel like cooking right now Nor do I really have that much time So I think I'll just grab something and like eat it in my car And then I have my lunch if I want a snack throughout the night A lot of people said that they get nauseous during the night So I do have ginger ale and I'm gonna bring some of that too And then hopefully the snacks can just hold me over But let's pack my lunch Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're like wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick that switch, kill the lights Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out okay, I'll show you what I am packing For my lunch on night shift Of course, I'm bringing the monster that I bought the other day I'm bringing some diet ginger ale I already had this in the pantry And a couple people said that they get nauseous on night shift So I thought that would be good to have Two just like light, what is happening with my camera? Two just like light um, mozzarella string cheeses, so I have those. A gluten-free zucchini muffin. I made some roll-ups. These are turkey and Swiss and mayo, and these are ham and Swiss. And then a bunch of bell pepper and hummus. I kind of like made a mess. I was trying to take the top off to show you guys. And I kind of made a mess. Um, and then this just like pops on there. It's a little bento box. I got it at Target. Um, I actually think I might throw some almonds in here and then I have a p3 and my water and then of course I am bringing ketones if I don't have the monster I'll have one of these if I have one of these I probably won't have the monster I don't see myself having both but I am bringing one caffeine free in case I have the monster and still want a little something so I have that and then I have a couple flavors of charged which are caffeinated just in case I'm feeling indecisive all right I apologize in advance for this but i did decide to make some coffee after all i'm having the messy bun cinnamon bun light roast from coffee over cardio i am like obsessed with this i'm gonna finish this bag way too fast so i typically don't drink coffee that much anymore just because i do have ketones but i really wanted some pumpkin um pumpkin spice coffee creamer for the season and when i won that coffee in the giveaway i felt like i could start drinking coffee a little bit more um, and I was just thinking about it. I'm gonna walk away so you don't have to listen to the dishwasher. I was just thinking about it and I think that I might want something warm. I know that it gets cold in the hospital and like my coffee in that thing will stay hot for like my whole shift pretty much. So I think I'm gonna make some coffee and then I have other options for drinks too with ketones and Monster and ginger ale and tea and water. <laughs> I should stay pretty hydrated tonight unless I'm so busy that I can't drink it But yeah, so I am making coffee and now I'm gonna run upstairs and get ready because it's 5 15 And I want to leave by 6 to go get Chick-fil-A I parked in the worst spot The Sun is literally directly in my face, but I'm super close to the I'm like as close as I can be to the hospital without being out of employee parking and into patient parking so I'm not gonna move but hi I'm feeling so much more energized I just finished my ketone so that's good and I listened to some pump up music so I'm feeling good I'm gonna turn my car back on just so that my phone will continue charging for a little bit um it's 6 15 so I'm here quite a bit early I really have like 30 to 45 minutes but I got chick-fil-a so we're gonna sit in the car and eat Chick-fil-A before we go in. So I'm gonna eat. Okay, I think I ate too quickly or something because I still have like probably a third of my fries and that ain't happening. I am too full. I'm just feeling so nervous, y'all. I just like feel like I'm gonna puke. 
I'm trying to like mentally convince myself that it's actually 7 a.m. and that I slept all night. <laughs> Not that I've been awake and I'm gonna be awake for 24 hours, no. Oh. It's not, it's not 7 p.m. It's not 6.30 at night, it's 6.30 in the morning. What are you talking about? I'm totally about to just like do day shift, right? The sun's just like going in the wrong direction. It's, it's, it's rising in the west. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm going insane. I feel like I'm already stir crazy. I don't know how this is going to go. I almost... I don't want to jinx myself, but like I kind of hope we have a three baby assignment just so that I'm busy and that it goes by fast, but I also hope that I love it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why this scares me so much. I wasn't scared about day shift. I feel like night shift shouldn't be as difficult, but I feel, uh, I don't know. It's 6.28, I already did my little survey for COVID. So I don't need to go in yet. I can't clock in for like 25 more minutes. So I might as well just stay here. I really thought I was gonna take longer at Chick-fil-A. So, and longer to get here. I might see you guys before I walk in. Otherwise, I will see you at like 8 a.m. <laughs> ah, hopefully it's not horrible, right? It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna have stuff to do. It'll keep me awake. Why is this so scary? Okay, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm just gonna like go puke, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. I'll see you in 12 hours.